Can you talk about the difference between fighting in the regular season and postseason? We've seen some big fights, you know, with Boshame and Aginla a couple years back, if you remember, that really swung the tide of the series. And kind of, what's your role as far as fighting during the postseason versus the regular season? Uh, you know, postseason fights are a little few and far between, so when they happen, there's a lot more uh, electricity in here. There's a lot more uh, riding on each, each uh, punch stone or whatever, if you will. So uh, everyone's kind of watching anticipation, and they can definitely swing a series. You know, it's uh, very emotional uh, playoff series. Uh, um, and a fight can definitely affect like that. Yeah. What's going on kind of in your head before a fight? You, know, you line up and you know you're going to go with this guy. Uh, you know, nervous, excited, you know, kind of what's your what's your emotional state? If you have to think about it for a long time, then you will definitely get a little bit nervous, uh, you know, anxiety. Um, even still, it doesn't happen that much anymore, but I definitely do if uh, you have to think about it for a long time. But uh, for the most part, you know, you just uh, go out there and do your job. Don't, don't think about it too much. Don't overthink it or you're going to get caught frozen out there. Yeah. How do you train during the offseason for a fight? How do you, uh, you know, during the summer months, obviously you're skating and getting ready for hockey, but how do you train for a fight? I just, I take some boxing lessons uh, towards the end of the summer right before camp. That's pretty much it. Just, uh, you know, five or maybe ten, ten sessions before camp starts. That's about it. Just get used to throwing punches and having punches thrown at me. All right, a couple more here. Uh, you don't have to give any away names, and you don't, if you don't want to answer this, you don't have to. But do you want to talk about the toughest fight you've been in, or do you not want to um, tip your hat to that? Yeah. I'll tell you, the fight that affected me most was in the minors. I fought this guy, um, McClare, and hit him square in the forehead, and busted my knuckle up pretty good, and it's been swollen ever since. So. <laughs> He's still feeling yeah, it today, his huh? nickname is Stone Cold. Is, I think it was McClare, and he played in, in, in Worcester. Yeah. Uh, tough forehead there. Yeah, real tough forehead. Yeah. Didn't name affect it. What's it like when you fought a guy multiple times and then he comes on your team? Or you play with him, you know, in a different setting and uh, how's your relationship with him when he comes on the team or even just like, you know, at the bar after, you know, a restaurant or something? Uh, you know, we're all pretty uh, amicable out there, so and there's not, I don't have bad blood with too many people. And uh, if anyone comes to your team, obviously you treat him like a teammate right away and there's nothing uh, no grudges held. Cool. Hey, last one, because this is going to youth hockey, uh, you know, youth ho fighting plays a role in the NHL and, you know, the AHL, but definitely not in youth hockey. You talk about the difference of when you're going into a fight in the NHL, it's for a reason, it's for your team, and in youth hockey, it doesn't play a role at all. Yeah, I never thought about fighting until uh, after college, so it was never a part of my game, and it shouldn't be a part of a kid's game, I don't think. Uh, you can definitely put the physical and take the body and do a lot of stuff, stand up for your teammates, but uh, definitely no need to uh, start out crazy. You don't worry about your uh, skills first, your skills.